Don Hellison, um, which is the uh, Teaching Personal and Social Responsibility Model. Um, Don Hellison, uh, he was at the University of Chicago a while ago. He sadly passed away last year. Um, Don developed this model for teaching personal and social responsibility. Uh, the interesting thing is that he never really thought of it um, in a PE context. Uh, he didn't do it for that reason. He wasn't um, in there to try to you know, improve health and PE. However, it's just a model that we've picked up and that works really well for us. So, hence the fact that it's uh, engrossed in um, New Zealand health and PE curriculum. Uh, he just recognised that it's a really valuable um, tool uh, for working with youth, and particularly those youth who are at risk. Um, <clears throat> for Don, um, health and PE is more than just teaching motor skills and, and much like us. Yeah, it's not just about rolling out a ball, playing games and, and teaching fitness and things like that. Uh, instead, health and PE is an awesome vehicle to try to set up authentic situations um, where people can create really... Um, you know, real life uh, issues and, and bring up different forms of discrimination and the like to really focus on trying to uh, improve social responsibility um, as well as you know, people's personal ideas of what they should and shouldn't be doing so that we can make the world a better place. So two um, aspects of this whole model um, focus around the self responsibility. Uh, sorry, there are two aspects of the model. The first um, focuses on the individual responsibility of a person, uh, which empowers students and people to take more responsibility for their own bodies and lives. Um, as you sort of get <clears throat> into it more and more, you realise that uh, the more you do this, the more you can enhance your own well-being. Um, and then that moves on to the ability to actually improve social responsibility and, and you step up and start helping other people. So it's about teaching young people that um, it's actually their right and their responsibility to be sensitive to the rights and feelings of others um, and giving them what they need to be successful in life as well because we can obviously have huge negative impacts on other people's well-being too. So in the early levels of the social responsibility model, it's all about focusing on the individual um, and then later on it's about trying to take those skills and trying to improve others uh, as well as on the bigger picture um, society. So what can you do with these skills and how can you take them outside of the health and PE um, classroom? So, uh, we quote here, successful people have a social responsibility to make the world a better place and not just take from it. So what do these levels look like? Level 1 is the irresponsible level. At this level people will be blaming others, they'll be name calling, they'll be very disruptive to the lesson. Um, this might be on purpose, um, or it might just be that they can't help themselves. They'll be really negative about everything, they'll make excuses, they won't play by the rules, they'll be aggressive behaviour, and they do not listen or participate. Um, they don't have to do all of these things as well, they might just do one or two of these things um, in order to, to disrupt the lesson and, um, and to make it terrible for others. Uh, for level two, self-control, people will not call others names, um, they'll try to control their temper and they'll be successful at it. They won't disrupt the class, they'll listen, but they won't actively participate. Um, so even if the ball comes rolling to them, they might try to avoid it, they might try to get out of the way. Uh, or they, um, yeah, might uh, just, just not bother trying to call for the ball or anything like that. Level three, involvement. Uh, these people will listen and they follow direction. They show at least minimal respect to people. They stay on task, but only when the teacher is watching or when they're prompted. Uh, they're willing to try and they're involved in activities and they'll participate, but they're very nervous about it. So they, yeah, they sit back and would rather not participate, but they understand that they might need to try a little bit every now and again. At level four, self-responsibility, they show respect, they make really good choices, they're honest, they're fair, they admit mistakes, they apologise when they've done something wrong, uh, and they can work independently uh, by themselves without the teacher having to harass them about it. For level five, leadership and helping others, uh, this person will exhibit all four, um, or all of sorry, level four. They'll work really well with everyone in the class willingly, they'll compliment and encourage others, they'll take care of equipment, uh, they'll ask and provide assistance to the teacher, and they'll apply fair play rules and show tolerance. So when doing all of those things, it helps everyone in the class to be successful as well as the teacher, not just themselves. So as you can see through these multiple levels, yeah, the first couple are just all about the individual, okay, and then the last few are all about actually um, improving other people's well-being as well. Okay. So if you have any other questions about Hallison's model or you don't understand it, then um, go and ask the teacher. Thanks.